you're in the Tiger's Den with Coach Hanna. This is Sweet Jimmy and Big Dan sitting there for Brian tonight. Coach, big man tonight. Big man, much needed win. Very happy about this. Are you? Very. You like winning better than losing? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit better. Uh, I know the crowd enjoyed it a lot more. Uh, I, you know, usually I like to wreck you over the coals a little bit. I didn't see any problems tonight. <laughs> Well, thank you. I thought the kids played well. They played hard. They had a good week of practice. Uh, everything turned out just the way we wanted it to turn out. So we're, we're extremely uh, happy and satisfied with tonight. I mean, it, it was it was just a great game. Uh, Dan, you got any questions for the coach? I have a few, coach. First thing, uh, you know, being part of academia, I'd like to know, do, do you have a special plan or a special program you do for, you know, some of your players that may not have great grades? Do we you do. have a tutoring system? or We how, do. We actually uh, have a guy that tutors for us, uh, free of charge, that we've got some guys working with. And then we, we kind of keep a check. All the teachers know, hey, if he's a football guy and I've got a problem or his grades are slipping, I'm going to go see Coach Hanna or I'm going to see Coach Brazil. We're going to get it taken care of, get them some okay. help, make sure that they're doing what they do because uh, it's hard to take care of eligibility issues at the end of the year. You've got to take care of them now and keep them eligible. Right. Um, and I got another question, if you don't mind. Go right ahead. Lay How, into him. <clears throat> excuse me. How many golf balls can you fit in a school bus? <laughs> 362,000. I have no idea. <laughs> About as many as there are dimples on the golf ball. <laughs> okay. Did Brian write that question? That does sound like a Brian question. <laughs> well, you know, I, I do have to pay him some homage here. I mean, I'm sitting in for him, for goodness sake. Is that it? That's no, go ahead. I, I got a few more. I just don't want to pepper them all at oh, once, you know. I got to stretch it out a little bit. Well, like we got a lot of people off the bench in there tonight. We did. Everybody got a chance to play, and we tried to get into it as early as we could uh, while still working on stuff we need to work on. Uh, we uh, tried to, to start uh, as soon as we could getting folks in, and uh, uh, a lot of times ninth graders, uh, you know, are the hardest to get in. We got them in pretty early fourth quarter, and they played really the entire fourth quarter. So hey, I noticed old fifty six out there at the end of the game tonight, lighting his dude. Lighting them up. up, that's right, lighting them up at guard. Uh, I, I thought last week while I was watching the Alabama game, as I'm sitting there at home, second guessing saving, you know, thinking maybe I know something. Do you catch yourself, I mean, because I mean, you're actually a coach. Do you ever catch yourself watching a game and thinking, that's wrong? I used to, but uh, this season, no, I hadn't done that very much. <laughs> <laughs> you're handling all them phone calls. Hey, yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, trying to dodge people. Because even, I even do it with you. I'll, I'll sit up there and, you know, I'll think, well, has he ever seen a football game before? Yeah, that's exactly right. Well, you know, and a good example of that, I watched, that game that was on TV last night, I don't know if you'd call it a football game, uh, with BYU. And they went for two points instead of kicking the field goal to tie the game, and I didn't understand, or kicking the extra point. They went for two, and I didn't understand that. That brings up a good point. Well, I know, it, I know why they probably did that was because there's in there like a formula that they're in Yeah, you're situation. supposed to have a card. If you, There's this magical card that's been out for 50 years and says, uh, if you're ahead by this, go for one. If it's this, go for so, two. So their magical card said, we haven't scored an offensive touchdown since we started playing this year. Let's go so for we'll two. Go. <laughs> Good choice. I don't know if you remember. It's funny you say that. The Wisconsin coach last year got in trouble by Bielema. the media because yeah. he was beating the fire out of somebody and went for two. Yeah, right. His excuse was, my card told me to. Yeah, they're not having that problem this year. Yeah, no, it's Ma there. Matter of fact, Oregon State, thank you. <laughs> Uh, anybody you want to mention tonight, Coach? Uh, I thought everybody played really well. Uh, as far as all around and, and having a stat in just about every category, Merkerson played great tonight. Oh, absolutely. He, uh, he, he got a pick early. Uh, he had a long touchdown run, had a long touchdown reception, uh, had tackles on defense from the secondary, uh, six or seven extra points, uh, did a, Great job punting and kicking. I mean, he, he played an all-around great game tonight. Does he ever come off the field once the game starts? I really, he doesn't. He's one of those guys that has to play every snap. Uh, but between being, you know, a lot of the guys that they may play offense and defense, sometimes we may can find them a place on a kicking team tonight, but he's our kicker, so he's, he's right. out there all the time. We tried to get him some breaks in the second half as much as we could, but, yeah, he's out there quite a bit. Was, uh, was that guy that was down there on the sidelines, was he a college scout? Which guy? <laughs> well, uh, there was a guy standing down there. You know, he was in the media area. 
Really? But, yeah. That shows you how much I'm, uh, uh, how I much, how much I pay attention. I thought you <laughs> talked to him. I thought you might have been. No, I don't, I don't think we had a college guy, at least not on the sideline. Well, okay. Uh, this would be a good point to go ahead and say that our bag that we gave away last week was won by Ashley Bryan, I think, and the T-shirt was Wade Chapman. Congratulations, y'all. Any further questions? I do. Man? Coach, I got one more. Um, you know, I know you're a creative coach. I can see that now. Um, if, if you were Remember. forced, you know who Gandhi is, Coach? Yes. If you had Gandhi on your team, what position do you think he would play? Uh, holder on extra points. Well, Keep everything that, peaceful. Well, I think that answers all my questions. <laughs> but that kind of brought up another question for me. As good as we played tonight, right. had the other team been a whole team of Mike Ditka's, how would tonight have went? Swip, swap those two <laughs> numbers. Ditka. Ditka's pretty, uh, pretty tough character. Okay. Uh, we'll give a shout out to our cameraman, JT Tothero, best cameraman in the business. Woo. And our still photographer, the lovely, alluring Susan McAnally. You should have said his smoking hot fiance. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still learning. And uh, don't forget to go eat at Oak Grove Quick Mart. They sponsor this show, as does Southern Nameplate Graphics. Coach, who we got next week? Next week's homecoming. We bring Brookwood in for a rival game for the coal miners pick. Uh, and uh, we've, uh, we've beat them two years in a row. They are going to be three and one rolling in here, playing pretty good football. So well, we got our hands full. but. Uh, we're going to worry about them first thing in the morning. For tonight, we're going to enjoy a win. Yeah, go ahead and enjoy this one. Yeah, are you imposing the 24-hour rule, Coach? Do what players now? get to enjoy a win? Well, actually, I tell the players, they, the way we have film now, they can actually go home and watch it at, on, on the computer at home now. So technically, they could start getting ready tonight if they want to. But I'll, you know, I use the, the old school way. We're not going to see them again until Monday. So enjoy it over the weekend. Do it the right way. Be smart. Yeah. We'll, have, we'll have to start worrying about Brookwood tomorrow. They can enjoy it all weekend. Come in Monday morning ready to go. Well, all right. Good, good job tonight, Coach, by the way. No, the coaches did great, but the players just played unbelievable tonight. Did what we asked them to do. And it's, uh, they did a great job. They, they definitely played some ball. Played hard. And, and the one thing we wanted to make sure they did was uh, finish. Play hard all the way. Don't let up. Don't take a playoff. Don't uh, – don't let in, and then and they did exactly what we asked them to do. Well, I did notice. I don't want to keep dragging this out, but I did notice uh, every time a player was getting took to the ground, it looked like they were reaching just a little bit more to try to get a better place on that ball. Every every right. time I saw a tackle, fighting the place. for everything. They I, had. I definitely That's, did see that tonight. I mean, we, stretching to get out of bounds. Everything. Right. Yeah, they there was definitely Y'all some been effort. coaching that, or is that just natural? They just know that. Well, we did, I, I think they know that, but we try to coach effort. We try to coach them to. To give us all they got, I think that's the kind of the key term what we've used is, you know, we give you all we got every week, and you know, we want you to give us all you got on Friday night, and, and they they're really buying into it and really getting after it. Yeah, I tell you, uh, Hester, I mean, tough, that's a tough. He is. <laughs> he gets after it. He loves the game. He loves playing hard, and he doesn't he doesn't get cheated out of anything. Yeah, I hate to keep bringing him up, but I mean, he he has some runs tonight that just, I mean, he's dragging dudes. Right. Okay, uh, I guess that'll wrap us up for tonight. You got anything else you'd like to say, Coach? No, I just appreciate everybody coming out and, and taking part in this. Appreciate the crowd being behind us and look for great a great crowd. Look for a great yeah. crowd this coming week for homecoming. Brookwood will bring a bunch of folks, so I'd like to get our side packed full and uh, see if we can't win the coal miners' pick for a third year in a row. Y'all hear that? The general said, "Get on out here next week." And Don't. the band, the band, man, awesome, the, uh, unbelievable, Mr. Hanson, Mr. Adams. Uh, all the folks, uh, Miss McKinney, Miss Hope, everybody's got a part in that. They just do a tremendous job. And those cheerleaders, I don't know. I just I noticed them, man. They're down there working the whole game. I mean, they do. Miss Parker does a great they job. They play with defense them. and offense the whole time. <laughs> they don't right. get a break on the bench. They do. All right. Well, uh, we'll see y'all back right here next week at seven o'clock to watch Brookwood take it spanking.